today we are going to discuss solving homogeneous equations today we are going to discuss solving the homogeneous equations so suppose if he has given some equations let us consider the equations are x plus y plus z is equal to 0 similarly 2x plus y minus z is equal to 0 and next one is x minus y minus z is equal to 0 these equations are called the homogeneous equations these equations are called the homogeneous equations how we can solve the homogeneous equations let us discuss first what you have to write is nothing but the given equations you have to write it in the form of ax is equal to 0 so next what he is saying the reduce the matrix capital A reduce the matrix A to echelon form okay these are the two steps involved okay we know okay how we can write the equations in the ax is equal to 0 model means you have to write the coefficients of the equations x coefficient y coefficient z coefficient similarly second equation x coefficient y coefficient z coefficient similarly third equation x coefficient y coefficient z coefficient so I have the unknowns x, y, z is equal to right hand side you come across for the equations 0, 0, 0 you write the equations like this this is nothing but in the form of ax is equal to a this is the matrix a x is equal to 0 model ok next slide so then how we have to decide the conclusions suppose the matrix a second point what he is saying is the second point you have to reduce the matrix capital a to echelon form the matrix a you have to convert into echelon form suppose this matrix a if you have reduced this matrix to like this let us consider so what happens so this is in the echelon form how we can say that this is in the echelon form so you have one zero here you come across with the two zeros here the number of zeros are in the ascending order therefore this is in the echelon form therefore rank of a is equal to how much rank of a is equal to the number of non-zero rows number of non-zero rows how many one two three the number of non-zero rows is three therefore number of non-zero rows is three that is nothing but equal to the number of unknowns number of unknowns number of unknowns how many for this system of equations it is 3 therefore if rank of a is equal to 3 is equal to number of unknowns the system is has a trivial solution the system has a trivial solution what do we meant by trivial solution trivial solution means you come across with the x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 is the solution when it happens when the rank of a is equal to rank of a is equal to number of unknowns when the rank of a is equal to number of unknowns you come across with the trivial solution then x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 is the solution ok ok if it is like this if the it is like this so if the equation if the matrix a has been reduced to this model so then how we have to decide means here it is 3 5 4 0 7 9 0 0 so rank of a rank of a is equal to how much rank of a is equal to number of non zero rows 1 2 rank of a is equal to 2 this is less than the number of unknowns number of unknowns number of unknowns are how many three unknowns are there therefore if rank of a less than the number of unknowns system has non-trivial solution system has non-trivial solutions okay so we there is no zero solution we sh it should have a non-trivial solution okay and also we have the n minus r n minus r linearly independent solutions n minus r linearly independent solutions independent solutions exist so here n is equal to how much 
n is equal to 3 r is equal to how much rank 2 therefore 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 linearly independent solution exist ok we will detail uh, we will discuss in the next slide ok so suppose let us consider solve the equations x plus 3y plus 2z is equal to 0 2x minus y plus 3z is equal to 0 3x minus yy plus 4z is equal to 0 x plus 17y plus 4z is equal to 0 so first what you have to do you have to write in the form of you have to write it in the form of ax is equal to 0 so I have written the equations in the form of ax is equal to 0 what you have to, you have to write x coefficient here 1 y coefficient here 3 I have written here z coefficient 2 I have written here similarly second equation x y z coefficient third equation x y z coefficient fourth equation x, x coefficient y coefficient z coefficients ok so this is in the form of ax is equal to 0 so if you move to the next slide so I will consider the only the matrix A only matrix is 1 3 2 so on so forth so I want to reduce this matrix A to the echelon form so to reduce into the echelon form you should make these three elements as zeros these 2 3 1 should be zeros for that one I am applying the R2 gives R2 minus 2 times of R1 similarly R3 gives R3 minus 3 times of R1 R4 gives R4 minus R1 so if you do apply that one you are going to get it as 1 3 2 first row is as usual second row R2 minus 2 times of R2 2 minus 2 0 next one here if you come across with here minus 1 2 into 3 6 minus 1 minus 6 minus 7 if you come across with here 3 minus 4 minus 1 here similarly r3 minus 3 times of r3 minus 3 0 minus 5 minus 9 therefore you come across with minus 14 minus 2 0 14 plus 2 you are going to get ok similarly next what you have to do is the number of zeros should be the in the ascending order for the echelon form therefore i will make this minus 14 as 0 for that one uh, what i am applying is the r3 gives to r3 plus r4 r3 gives rise to r3 plus r4 so if you do that one you are going to get as like this similarly next what i have to do is the uh, i have to make this element as 0 this 14 element i am making it as 0 for that one r4 gives rise to r4 plus 2 times of r2 therefore it will become 1 3 2 first row is as usual second row is as usual third row is as usual so here 14 plus 4 minus 14 it will be 0 next one 2 minus 2 it will be 0 ok therefore it will be like this now what you have to do is the here if you consider the conclusions you can write it as the ok so rank of a is equal to 2 here you come across with the rank of a is equal to 2 less than the number of unknowns rank of a is equal to that means first non zero row two non zero rows exist therefore rank of a is equal to 2 less than the number of unknowns number of unknowns are how many three unknowns are there therefore it has a non trivial solution so how many independent solutions exist means 3 minus 2 that is equal to 1 independent solution exist ok so let that a uh, solution will be let z is equal to k be the solution ok this you consider as the equation 1 from this uh, reduced form you can write it as x plus 3y plus 2z is equal to 0 this you consider as the equation 2 and the second one you can see it as minus 7y minus 7y minus z is equal to 0 you can set the third equation suppose let us consider from the third equation minus 7y minus z is equal to how much 0 z is equal to actually it is k therefore minus 7y minus k is equal to 0 therefore minus 7y is equal to plus k y is equal to minus k by 7 therefore you got the y value similarly from equation 1 from equation not 1 from equation 2 
x प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस टू जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स स्टैंड फॉर एक्स ओनली थ्री इंटू वाई थ्री इंटू वाई मीन्स माइनस के बाई सेवन प्लस टू जेड टू इंटू के इज इक्वल टू जीरो इफ यू डू सिंप्लीफाई दिस वन सेवन टाइम्स ऑफ एक्स माइनस थ्री के प्लस सेवन इंटू टू फोर्टीन के इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इज नथिंग बट सेवन एक्स माइ सेवन एक्स प्लस फोर्टीन माइनस थ्री प्लस लेवन के इज इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर सेवन एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस लेवन के फॉर एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस लेवन बाई सेवन के देर फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस लेवन बाई सेवन के वाई इज इक्वल टू माइनस एक्स बाई माइनस के बाई सेवन एंड जेड इज इक्वल टू के जेड इज इक्वल टू के इज द रिक्वयर्ड सोल्यूशन फॉर द गिवन सिस्टम ऑफ होमोजीनियक्वेशन ओके सो Thank you.